Most important question when it comes to relationships is do you trust your partner? So let's talk about trust. Keep watching. What's up? This is Mary with the Scots. I'm Monty. I'm Nayeli. This is a channel where we discuss everyday lives, being married or in a relationship, the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so we're going to talk about trust in a relationship. I think that's probably one of the most essential things in a relationship is trust. Yeah. Do you trust your partner? One, how much is too much trust? Yeah. Can you trust your partner too much? As a female or male, male, what will cause you to not trust your partner? Okay. So that's, I mean, just forgot what I said. <laughs> but these videos are not like scripted. These are just off the top of our heads when we, you know, being married five years or being in a relationship even longer than that. We've been in a relationship for. Oh, I mean, off and on 17 years. Coming up on 17 years since like our first date on um, Sweetest Day next month in October. Hey, Sweetest Day is for, for the males. But also for me. <laughs> no Valentine's Day is for me. Yeah, but I get both. Nope. Anyway, back to the topic <laughs> trust. Do you trust your partner? I can honestly say I trust Nyla. I can trust you. Um, that's one of the reasons I'm married. She's very. I don't have to worry about she's doing this and that. I really trust her. But I always, sometimes I don't feel like she trusts me. And I haven't given her a reason not to trust me. So let me ask you: Why don't you trust me? Or why do I feel like you don't trust me? Why do like why why, why sometimes do you feel like I might not trust you sometimes? Right. Why don't you trust me? Or do you trust me? Yeah, I trust you. Okay. But sometimes you like what will make you not trust me? Well, uh, first what makes no? Let me rephrase it. I think you trust me, but what makes you trust? No, I think you trust me. Uh huh. But what makes you question me? That's that's what it is. Why do you question me? I think you trust me. Like, but why do you question me sometimes? Um. So I think that the majority of females have a little bit of um, insecurities. Insecurity. Oh. Yeah, yeah. But mm, no, I mean, let's just keep it real. I mean, like the statistics show, like men cheat more than women. Um, men can't control sexual emotions. So sometimes, for instance, like if I get a text message or something. Like it's a pet peeve of mine. Even though I'm not hiding anything, it's just for you to be like, who is that? Like why do you like why are you I'm just texting her. Like, I I, I that's just annoying to me. To. Right. Not and, and I feel like so I don't want to tell you because I'm like she don't trust me, but it's nothing you can see my phone. Like she has my password and everything. I'm not trying to hide anything, but that's one of the pet peeves that I have, like every time I do something or every time I'm talking to somebody, you don't have to know. Who it is i don't have to but it bugs me like right. if we're together and we're like i don't know watching tv or even in the car and we're at like a red light and then he's like texting i'm like who are you texting like i can't wait or i just want to know who it is but you still trust me though but i still trust you huh but it's just so why do you do that it's just because of i don't know i don't i honestly it's don't a know. female thing it's or? a female thing i think i mean if, if y'all know why females do that, comment below or give some type of justice. She's just saying it's a female thing. Maybe it is, I don't know. I mean, it's a little bit of crazy. It's a little bit of insecurity, I guess. I mean, like, let's keep it real. I mean, if Jay-Z can cheat on Beyonce, why wouldn't you cheat on me? Not to say that you would, but it's just because you just because we're married, just because I know that you love me, just because right. you come home yeah. every night. I mean, I trust so you, you, but I just want to know who you're talking to or okay. what yeah. you're doing huh? all the time. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can understand that, but <laughs> like I said, so yeah, I mean, first of all, I don't know where to go. I mean, that's crazy. I mean, it is crazy. I know it doesn't make sense, but it's just how I am. And I think a lot of girls are like that. Okay. So you do trust me, but you just 
still want to know, basically. Yeah. I can do anything or it's just, I'm maxed out on the best. So there's nothing else you can do. No, I what mean, you, hmm, you could compliment me more, you could. Okay, compliment. I mean, you've read like the five love languages. Yeah, we, we're talking about You know about my that. love language, so right. do it. Yeah, so we talked about that the last couple of videos. I think I'll link to it. Um, the love language, back to the love language. I think that if you're loving them the right way, they're not going to question you. They're not going to, unless they're just crazy, they're not going to be wondering if they can trust you. Because sometimes I think, like you said, it goes back to being insecure about certain things. Yeah. But if you're constantly, I guess you could say, catering, you do have to cater to your, your spouse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the way they want to be loved, I think that will. I'm gonna try that. I think that will um, lessen the <laughs> mistrust. I mean, I guess, right? Yeah, I think. I don't right. know. I so, mean, I trust you, but you know what I mean. Yeah. So I think the takeaway for this video is, first of all, if you're doing something that you know you ain't supposed to be doing, then obviously they're not gonna trust you. Be. Right. So, There's something we can do. But if you're doing everything about. right, straight and narrow, and they still like. It's for men too. I, I trust her, but like I said, I'm not saying it's all females, but in our relationship, it's more towards, geared towards her. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But you shouldn't have no inappropriate, you know, any inappropriate relationships. Um, you know, that's one thing I had to, I didn't think nothing of it, but like you said, that's, a, that's another video. But, um, but yeah, the more you love or love them how they want to be loved, I think that decreases the, the that feeling, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, like the questionable, you know yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so like that, the questions. And so again, just figure out what, how your spouse, uh, how they like to be loved. Show them that attention, and you have to do that. I mean, that's just something you have to do. Right. And you may have to do it overboard. Like I'm not good at it, but but you have to make, you have to be intentional in everything you do mm -hmm. with your relationship. So that's been working. We're still working. I'm still working on that aspect. <laughs> I am too. You're talking about trust. So yeah, just make sure you just cater to your. Just make sure you just cater to your. Mate. The last thing we're talking about. When is it too much trust? Like when are you like okay? Um, you trust your husband. I say you trust your wife. Nah, no, I wouldn't be. Like I you can go out all night, like once a week or something. What? No, I mean like that's like too much. Like why? To go out all yeah, night. Yeah, you're gonna go out all night. You don't need to be coming home at okay. one, two, three in the morning. Like for what? You're married and you have kids. We ain't about that life no more. Okay, I agree with that. You shouldn't be out all night, but I think you should. I think you should be able to go out. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And with a group of friends, um, yeah, guy friends, and I, w I wouldn't feel comfortable now. She was out. Like, I'm going to a friend uh, dinner with one of my uh, coworkers who happens to be a male. No, I don't, I don't play that. No, we, we ain't doing none of that. <laughs> But if it's in fun, like I said, you know you can handle yourself. Um, I think that's, that's good. And the only thing else I can say is trust, man. Marriage is spiritual, so you have to pray, pray together. Because, like I said, marriage is a day by God. So if you don't have God in a, in a marriage being spiritual, it's going to be tough uh, for a relationship to work in anything you do. Um, so you have to have God. That's why we said God filled me with everything in our videos because that's that's the foundation. See what I'm saying? That's the foundation of everything. Having God first, and then everything else, you know, basically branches off that. See what I'm saying? So I think that's important. Having God first, and then love your mate how they want to be loved.